Have you ever gotten a phone call from your own number or one that was just a few digits off? Uh, it's called neighborhood spoofing, and it's the latest illegal scam to get you to answer your phone. And that had Gene from Hastings and Sandy from Wilmer wanting to know, does, how does spoofing work? Good question. Heather Brown discovered it just takes a couple of seconds. So when you first had your own number call you, what did you think? <laughs> it was kind of crazy. It honestly is kind of scary. Like I wasn't sure if there was something wrong with Verizon. I was nervous. I thought like something had happened to a family member in that area. So there are 99.999% illegitimate calls. Chris Schulte is a cybersecurity expert. Caller ID spoofing in itself is not illegal, mm -hmm. okay? What is illegal though is caller ID spoofing for the intent of committing a fraudulent act. Mm -hmm. Any idea how they even do that? No clue. I don't know where they're getting my phone number from. And that scares me even more. In order to understand how spoofing works, you have to realize that the phone network mm -hmm. isn't just a single network. It's several different networks strung together with different technologies. Because the, the telephone network is by its nature very open, mm -hmm. Um, that allows the scammers and the spammers and the telemarketers to connect into that phone network. I mean, they can do like thousands of phone calls at a time and yeah. you just happen to be the one that picks up. Yes. They're essentially just using software that, that routes their phone system. It's very easy to do. How easy? Well, it took Chris less than 30 seconds using an app from the App Store. Now, this is legal as long as we're not trying to scam someone. Legitimate businesses use spoofing all the time, like when all the lines in one building show up as one number. My own number is going to call me. Yes. He typed my numbers into the app on his phone. Oh, my gosh. So ah! so I'm going to step <laughs> sure away did. so I can hear okay. you. But... Hello? Hello, Heather. Uh, my name is Heather, and I'm calling to see if you would like to uh, have a free cruise. It's crazy what technology is doing to us. We think it's, there's benefits to it, but there's also some cons. It can be anything from a single person sitting in their home using an app on their phone. However, there can be businesses that are actually designed to be call center in scope and size. I don't know where the, what the real answer is. I just know something needs to be done. Heather Brown. We'll see what happens. WCCO 4 News. Well, our expert says that stopping these calls is not just as simple as the government cracking down. He says new laws are needed along with the technology to end robocalls. Until then, the FCC says do not answer these calls. If you do, don't press any numbers, hang up, and consider blocking the number.